Shalom to the Lord Select. Let's be begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Again, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Kohola Yahawa Bahashem Yahawa Shai Bahashem Raka Kadash. Let's give double honors to our head leaders, starting with our head apostles, the bishop, the elders, from the great millstone that taught us this truth. And now, salutation, peace to the lowest elect, always starting with 144,000. And they're followed by the large multitude mentioned in the book of Revelation 7, 9 and 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 44. Again, it's your brother Malak. We're going to hit the headline news today. You know, it's going to be various news. Uh, this is the time that we are living in and we're constantly watching, particularly in the Balkan, particularly in Europe, the uh, Levant, which is what, West Asia a.k.a. Middle East. These are the places that we are watching. And then we can forget Babylon the Great, the Lord's altar. This is where the Lord is coming to uh, have his, uh, his sacrifice. You know, he's coming to lay the land waste. America, as you know it, is Babylon the Great. In the Bible, it's also known as Assyria. It's also known as Egypt. It's all this is all spiritual name for Babylon. And it's all spiritual name for America. You see? Because I believe if America, actual name America was written in the Bible, I don't think we will have the Bible to be reading today. But we thank the Lord for giving us the spirit, you know, giving us the eyes of to see it and to receive it. Because only the elect are going to actually believe this glorious gospel that we don't take for granted. We are extremely, extremely, extremely blessed, grateful to have this truth in these last days. Again, we are extremely, extremely blessed to have this truth in these last days. The sacrifice our King, our Redeemer made for us, Yahweh Shai made this possible for us to have this truth in these last days. Yes. The king is coming to establish his kingdom. And then if we are blessed and to make it to endure to the end, we are going to rule with them. That is how important this message is, you see. And we are given diligent to make our election sure. You see, that's what the Lord says. You see, he says, give diligent to make your election sure. And again, this message is for you so-called Negroes. Latinos, African Americans, Native Americans, you are the biblical Israelites. The names that are attached to you today are names, are names, and that the oppressor put on you to fulfill Bible prophecy. Pursuant to the book of Jeremiah, let me go here. Let me bring up another here. Jeremiah 17. Is it 17 4? I think it's Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Excuse me. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And then we're going to hit the, the news, family. We have a few news to cover. Just headline news today. Various news. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. It says here, the reason why you are known as on the you are known on the street as black negroes latinos african americans is to fulfill prophecy here as uh, jeremiah 17 verse 4 it says and thou even thyself that's why you so-called negro because this whole book is about the israelite about the 12th tribe that's our history book the bible is our history book it says and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage your name is part of your heritage. Okay, let's look up that word heritage. Heritage, property that is or may be inherited, an inherited, a special or individual possession, an allotted portion. And eh? let's read it. It says, property that is or may be inherited, an inheritance. 
they had stolen his grandfather's heritage. That's why our name was stolen and our names are now being given to that we have in the, the right now we have the, uh, what's that, what's that? We have the Hungarian Jew. We have the Russian Jew. We have the Italian Jew. We have the Chinese Jew. We have the Japanese Jew and we have that. So if I'm, you get a point. You get the point. But the so-called, the people that the name actually belong to, now we can claim Israel. We can claim that Israel is our homeland, but that is okay. Because why? Prophecy have to be fulfilled. That is why when you, if you have this truth here, you have peace that no amount of money could buy. That's what this word does for us. It gives us peace. We are not there fighting and debating with you who is who. No, 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 no. Family, we have the truth. You have to come to us. We are not there. We are not depending on you to tell us who we are. Those days are long gone. Read the book of Isaiah 10 verse 20. Those days are long gone. You see, we have the truth. Now we are at peace. Yahweh Shai said it best. You shall know the truth and the truth shall do what? Make you free. Roughly paraphrasing. The moment we receive this glorious gospel, oh, it's like a big sigh of relief. Now we know all we have to do is what? Endure because we have the blueprint. We know civil war is coming to America. We know third world war is coming. We know microchip is coming. The Lord have given us the eyes off to see all these things. So what are we worried about? We are not worried about a thing. We are patiently waiting for the King of Kings to come and establish us. That's right. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. It says proper. It's a valued object and qualities such as cultural. Listen to this. This is heritage. Cultural traditions, unspoiled countryside and historic buildings that have been passed down from previous generation. Eh? Like the land of Israel right now, who's occupying the land? Uh, one side you have the uh, the Ishmaelites, and eh? the so-called Arabs, and then you have one side you have people claiming to be us. That's right. You see, but we will wait. And eh? it's a pass down from previous generation, a sense of history and heritage, the richness of our diverse cultural heritage, and eh? denoting a tradition, a traditional brand or product regarded as emblematic emblematic of fine craftsmanship and eh? that's our heritage it says here christians or the ancient israelites seen as the most highest chosen people that's right but with the lord says what let's read that again jeremiah 17 4 and thou even thyself shall be shower this continue this continue we must well look up the word discontinue. Let's look up discontinue. What does it say? Cease doing all what? Cease and eh? cease doing or providing something. Typically, something provided on a regular basis. Eh? You stop being who you are. Your names are taken away from you. Today, we are known as the black, the Negroes, the Latinos, the African-Americans, the Caribbeans, the, yes, family. These are the names that the oppressor have placed upon us. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. That's right. You are in Britain. You are in America, Canada, wherever you are under the sun, you are not home. You are not Israel. Home, your homeland is what? Jerusalem. And you are not there yet. Yahweh Shai is the one that's going to take us home. Right now, we are all in captivity. We have birth certificate. We have passport. That's why right. we're paying rent. We're paying gas bill, eh? mortgage. All these things here, family, we were not supposed to be eh? subject to payment. But guess what? We are subject to payment today. We are still in captivity. You are not free. That's why Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem us. From all these contracts that we signed with Esau, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. And that forever is only for an age. That time has come, and the Lord is pouring his mercy upon us by first and foremost giving us his name, which is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. If you veer away from those names, you're going to be destroyed. You better know those names and cherish those names because the name of the Lord and his only begotten son, our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, they are indeed a strong tower. The moment we started calling upon the name Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, look at what is happening around the world today. Look at what's happening around the world today. 
It's all falling apart. Eh? It's all falling apart. Again, all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah Kadash. And we're going to get right into it. If I didn't say it, you know, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to the Lord's elect. Eh? It says here, special NATO meeting. We have a few articles. I'm just headline news. I just want to bring a quick a quick, a quick uh, information out, you know, to edify you because we are watching that region because Russia have made it clear that they are ready to go. Russia is ready for NATO. Anything can happen anytime. You see, the war, Third World War, officially with NATO getting involved and eh, America and its ally getting involved could, be, could, could happen anytime, anytime now. Civil war is coming. That's right. Civil war is coming to America. You see, America is falling apart. And because what? It was supposed to happen. Okay, it's supposed to happen. But now let's go. It's a special NATO meeting on the Baltic. Russia electronic warfare system bomb all states in the region causing a no-fly zone. Flight suspended. Okay, this is coming from War News 24-7. Again, like I said, I can't put these articles in my description box. YouTube will not allow me to. Just because I've had so many suspensions on this channel. So, family... It is what it is. It says problems in thousands. That's what they claim anyway. Problems in thousands of ships and aircraft. Okay. Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania have officially blamed Russia for a Baltic GPS signal blackout. Fully confirming an earlier report by World News 24-7. The same move will be made in the following days by Finland, Sweden, and Norway. These countries have requested a special NATO meeting. That's their, their group, their North Atlantic Treaty Organization, okay? Meeting as, as according to Baltic military source, the situation appears to be much more serious, okay? That's what we like to hear. Family, the hopeful elect, we want this third world war, nuclear war to start like yesterday. We want chaos. We want civil war. We want, that's right, because why? We are waiting for our king, Yahweh Shai. We are waiting for the groom, the bride is anxiously waiting for the groom to what? Uh, that's why right, to deliver her. You see, that's why right, we are the bride of the, uh, the the groom. So we are waiting. We we are in trouble. You see, Jacob's trouble. We said when Jacob's trouble come, that's why right, we're going to need Yahweh Shai. That's why the Jeremiah thirty verse seven, like our beloved apostle Toha, coined twenty twenty four to be what. Uh, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Why is that? Because we're going to need deliverance. In trouble, we're going to need deliverance. Yahweh Shai and the angels, Michael, have to step in. Mentioned in the book of Daniel 12, 1. Michael, the archangel, along with Yahweh Shai. Let me go back. Let's say it properly. Yahweh Shai, Michael, the archangel, and the rest of angels have to step in. Hey, that's right. Let's go. It says here, also read Baltic dead for 63 hours, meaning there's no GPS signal. Russia responds to NATO plan, Russia with total blackout and MIG-311 takeoff with Kinzhal. This is one of their aircraft. Russia, Russia, still unknown how and with which or which system, has killed the entire Baltic, creating many problems for ships, planes, extra and an exit etc from poland to sweden the gulf of finland there is no gps signal military sources and nato analysts said that the source of russia electronic warfare is likely not one i don't know what i mean it says here it says here one appears to be based in Kaliningrad, another is responsible for interference in Estonia and Finland, and another source affects Norway and Finland. Because family, at the end of the day, they are preparing for war. And Russia, oh yeah, Russia is ready for the, the NATO. Family, this is the last war. Everybody wants to uh, get the advantage on each other, right? Hell yeah, family, if I can stop you from firing your missile, guess what? I will do whatever it takes to make sure that I get the advantage of you. So this is war. This is war. This is war. That's the region. Everybody's rep reporting on this. Can I play this here? 
uh fair use at fair use at fair use at. let me see if i can play this thing here fair use at fair use at i don't you i don't own this video all right this from we on let's play this now skies over the baltic region are becoming dangerous for airplanes flights have been reporting an increasing number of missing or fake gps signals and the culprit is russia according to baltic leaders They've now warned that Russia's dangerous maneuvers could cause an air disaster. Now, Finn Air has suspended its flights to the Estonian city for one month due to GPS interference. The official statement states that flights will remain suspended between April 29th to the 31st of May till they come up with an alternative that does not require GPS. This comes after two Finn Air flights heading to Estonia had to turn back to Finland due to GPS interference. Estonian minister described the act as a Russian hybrid attack. The GPS jamming or blackout episodes have become regular since 2022. According to Eurocontrol, the European organization... Sorry about that. I had to get a turn this sound. Oh, that's way too high. Sorry, I was supposed to do that before the lesson sometime. It gives us interference. Let's do that again. For the safety of air navigation, and off late, they've been on the rise. But what is GPS jamming? So all modern planes are built with equipment that can send and receive constant signals from global navigation satellite systems like the United States GPS and Europe's Galileo. This helps the pilot navigate during the course of a flight. What GPS jamming involves is overloading an aircraft signal equipment with sustained interference that it can no longer send or receive information. A US-based GPS users lobby group says Russia is regularly attacking the aircraft, passengers and sovereignty of NATO countries. Around 900... All right, you get the point, family. At the end of the day, it's all about getting that... T5 GPS Sorry. outages with... Let's get the next one. All right, Israel will invade Rafa. This is coming from RT. Israel will invade Rafa with or without hostage deal, Netanyahu said. That's the Prime Minister of Israel. Rafa is where my right now majority of the what is it called? Uh, the refugees are residing. That's why you see that's when you know you know that we says when when the wicked are in rulership the people mourn. That's what they do in family. They are about to attack a refugee camp where majority of these people, family, they can't defend themselves. They are women, they are children, elderly folks. That's right. Because at the end of it, or when you look at the big picture, it is the law that is doing it. Jerusalem indeed will be a burning stone for this nation. Nobody's going to live that land, live on that land. That whole region, that's right, the Lord is about to cleanse it. That's where everything is leading to. But he's using this particular man here, Netanyahu, the Lord is hardening his heart because eventually America will officially get involved. The whole world is going to get involved. You see, that third world war is going to take place. The main war is going to take place in that region. And the prime minister directly contradicted his own foreign minister who promised to suspend the operation if Hamas released its captives. You see, it says Israel will send troops into the city of Rafa, regardless of whether it reaches a ceasefire and hostage release deal with Hamas. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Tuesday, Israel Foreign Minister Israel Kars had previously promised to cancel the controversial operation in exchange for the captives. You know why Netanyahu says he's going to invade? Because these are well, modern day pharaohs. And the Lord is hardening their hearts to do what? The least of the flock, according to Jeremiah 49 20, will what will draw them in. Is that 49 20? I don't want to misquote it. Let's go to Jeremiah 49, verse 20. It said the Bible says what the least of the flock, which is Israel, will draw America out. Right here, what the Lord says. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he have taken against Edom. Today they call themselves white. Today they call themselves European. They call themselves American, British, and eh, Canadian, and eh, Norway, Swedish, all these names that they've given themselves eh, to hide from their biblical name, which is what they are the Edomite. Okay? It says here, therefore, hear this counsel of the Lord that he have taken against Edom 
and his purpose that he has purpose against the inhabitants of Timon, the modern day Germans. Okay, they are who are considered the smartest among the Edomite race, surely the least of the flock. And which is Israel today shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So they're going to destroy this place. They're going to destroy America. And that's the time that we are living in. We are living in a beautiful time. He says, yeah, regardless of a deal, I'm still going to invade Rafa because Netanyahu right now is wanted. And the ICC, and let's go here. Let's bring it. He's wanted. Before all this thing started, guess what? He was before the court. He was about to go to jail, right? But he's still in office, so they can't touch him. The moment he comes out, they overthrow him or whatever the case may be. He's going to jail. So he's going to bend the whole house down before he goes to jail. That is what we want. We want him to continue to maintain that same energy. We don't want him out. No, we want the Lord to keep him there, to fulfill the will of the Lord. He said, then Benjamin Netanyahu awaiting the ICC's decision on arrest warrant. It will be a scandal of historic scale. That's what he's saying. Should the International Criminal Court issue arrest warrant against government official? Listen to this guy here. Because remember, they are the people of the book. That's what they tell the whole world. They are above the law. They are the special people. And everybody else doesn't, everybody else's life don't matter except them. They control everything. They control the International Monetary Fund. Eh? That's why IMF, they control the World Health Organization, the United Nations. They control America. They control Europe. That's why they control everything. They control Hollywood. They control the banking system. But they're still the victim though. Right? Let that make sense. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said today that if the International Criminal Court issue arrest warrant against government officials on charges linked to Link what? Link to the war against Hamas, it should be a scandal of historic proportion. The possibility of issuing arrest warrant for war crimes against IDF, Israel Armed Forces, commanders and government officials, a scandal of historic proportion. That's what he's saying. What does that tell you? You can't touch them. They are above the law. They are above the law. You see, let's go on here. We're going to read a bit of uh, headline news here. This, this is a uh, Let's start with this is end time headline. Okay. End time headlines. Let's see here. So it says developing over 80,000 pounds of Delhi meat has been recalled across multiple states due to lacking inspection. Family, you can trust these devils, man. You know, this is the law says we shall eat our food defiled among the Gentiles. And the Lord wasn't lying. You see, that's why we pray over the food and then we're trying to get the best of the worst. You know what I mean? You see, then we pray, we pray that the Lord, I always pray before before you eat, before you put anything in your mouth, pray over it. Because our food is defiled. But listen to the televangelist Jesse Duplantis brags about his wealth, says if you are in poverty, it's a curse. That's why they took the Bible, they add their own doctrine, fool the masses family. At one point, that was us. Because we were in the church too. We thought we were here to prosper. We we're here to build mansion, have our own private jet. You know what I mean? Make all the money that we can make in this world here. No, that's not the case. The Lord said, love not this world. Because this earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And you are looking at them. They hijacked the Bible. That's why right. they are their own. They twisted ups and, uh, up, 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 oh, sorry, upside down and, and fooled the masses. Oh, yeah. Then they fool the master. After all their wickedness, they're still expecting somebody to come and save them. Believe in sweet baby Jesus. They're waiting for a blonde hair, blue eyes, eh? Eh? Blue, uh, pale skin to, yeah, to fall out of the sky and come and deliver them. They're sadly mistaken. So, family, I just want to touch that quickly. Eh? Columbia University locks down campus building following overnight mutiny. Yeah, this is an Ivy League what? university. The infrastructure is breaking apart. Everything is collapsing right in front of your eyes. Columbia University has been forced to close its campus indefinitely after an anti-Israel mob broke into an academic building earlier Tuesday morning. In a statement hours after anti-Israel agitators stormed the iconic Hamilton Hall on the Manhattan campus and barricaded its doors, the university said it will remain closed until circumstances allow otherwise. We say, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai. 
it told you about the uproar of the people, right? It says, that's what the Lord says. It says here, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, says the Lord. Eh? The Lord says, yeah, speak. It's all about prophecy. Somebody is telling you to go buy a house, build lands, buy cryptocurrency, buy gold, diamond. Finally, run away from them. This place is finished. Don't have, don't invest in America. Babylon the Great, it is over. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. That's why everything the Lord said is going to happen, is going to happen. That's why he says his word will not return to him void. You hear? It says here, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. It says here, fear not the imaginations against you. Your family members that don't believe it, the family members that said at the moment they show up at my door, you are the one causing this problem. You are the one don't want to be part of Esau system. They're going to give you up. The Lord said, don't worry about their imagination. Whatever evil thought they are thinking, they're planning about you, the Lord said, don't even worry about it including Esau, Edom, looking at the men out there, the men of the Lord preaching, he says, man, these guys actually have the truth. How are we going to confound them? How are we going to grab them? How? No, you see, it's all going to come to naught. It's not going to come to fruition. You hear? He said, fear not. This is speaking to you, the elect. The imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Incredulity are what? Your unbelievers, your family members. That said to you, man, they always say the world is going to come to an end and nothing happens. Family, the Lord says, don't let them trouble you. Because how I I said it best? They that are filthy, let them be filthy still. And they that are righteous, let them remain righteous still. Holy, let them remain holy still. Roughly power phrasing. He says what? Well, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according to his works. So if they are unbelievers, family, they're living on the soil of America. Guess what? They're going to be fuel for the fire. And we're going to be up in the chariot and looking down and seeing all of them on fire. That's right. And we are way looking forward to that day. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. He says here, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And he says here, for all the unfaithful, all the unfaithful. And because the Bible says what? Well, the just shall live by what? Well, faith. You got to have faith. This is faith based. Believing in something that you have not seen. Believing that the so-called UFOs are the chariots of the Lord. Believing that Yahweh Shai, yes, came and healed the sick. And he walked among us. He raised the dead. He, he rose up. Believe in something that you have not seen. Family, that is the elect. Because the elect are what? They are considered the, they are what? the first spirit created. And after Yahweh, he created his elect, the elect. You know, created the spirit. That's why Yahweh is here. He knows his sheep. And he says, my sheep what? Hear my voice and they follow me. Only the elect are going to take heed to this message. It says here, for all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. Eh? But I want to I wanna jump. Let me go here. I want to skip to 14. It says here, eh? I want to skip, skip to 14 because about, about what is happening in Colombia. It says, it says here, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. You hear that? Woe. Destruction. Eh? It says here, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and sword in their hands. That's the time that we are about to enter into. Particularly in America, Babylon the Great. People with their guns in their hands. It's called civil war, family. It is coming and it's fast approaching. It says here, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. You look at what happened a few days ago when the police came against what? The peaceful protesters and family. They came heavy handed. People were being tasered, eh? being pepper sprayed. That's what is about to take place on a whole different level. That's what is coming on the soil of America. Because what this is, this but this prophecy has to be fulfilled. He said, For there shall be sedition among men and, and invading another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's right. They're going to take matters into their own hand. That's what it means. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what is coming, but we're gonna we're gonna pack it there, and eh? we're gonna come back to it later. But let's continue with the news, and eh? that's what you're witnessing. That's what you're witnessing. 
They're not listening to their professors and the police anymore. No, everybody's taking matters because they realized that the system was rigged. You know, they're telling you to go take this loan because these Ivy League universities, family is not cheap. It's not cheap to get into these universities. It is not cheap. So after you've taken all this loan, eh, that's right, with this high interest rate, you're going to go to school, get a piece of paper, come back and start work at McDonald's. Eh? That's right. Yes, yeah, that's what it's looking like. The McDonald's might not even be there. The McDonald's probably going to ask you if you have PhD. Eh? That's right. Just to work in McDonald's. That's the time that we're about to enter into. You see? Because things are going to be... It, things are, <laughs> the Lord said the time that we're about to enter into has never ever happened before. But anyhow, let's continue. Let's continue. And also don't forget the microchip. Eh? Microchip is coming. Did I miss something here? What else is here? Humanity is on convincing deep fake away from global catastrophe. Indonesia volcano erupts along ring of fire, triggering tsunami warning. <laughs> Campus chaos. Cops deploy tear gas and maze on anti-Israel mob marching toward iconic university tower. You see the chaos? This is, this is what is happening to your, the, uh, the world today. This is what the Lord is bringing. U.S. government to begin testing ground beef in states with B-I-R-D, F-L-U, outbreaks in dairy cows. That's right. This is going to cause what? That's right. Farming. The Lord says he's bringing it. Let's continue here. It says here, uh, next survey, it says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And it says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Civil war. Chaos, class war, gender war. The Lord is going to mingle it all together and pour it up upon Babylon before the missile hits. This is all coming together because this is the end. The Lord is preparing the land for wild beasts. No flesh, no human is going to live on the soil of America. That's what we're telling you before it happens through the spirit and power of our king, the redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. You see, Yahweh is coming to establish his kingdom and America eh, is not going to be part. America is reserved for the wild beasts, goat, hyenas. That's why right. these are the animals, uh, uh, what's it called, owls. These are the animals that are going to enjoy the land because it's going to be a desert. When the fire settle, and eh, we're going to pack it there. Let's get the next article. Eh? Did I, did I finish it? Okay, let's go here. The People's Voice. CBS poll. Half of voters in swing states say, this is from uh, uh, the People's Voice family. CBS poll. Half of voters in swing states say, economy was under Biden. No kidding. No kidding. But this is what the Lord is doing. Again, these, the signs are everywhere. That's what we are telling you. Do not invest in this place. Voting is not for you. You are an Israelite. You should be seeking your Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Yahweh Shai is coming to remove these people that you look at today. Do you looking at them? These wicked people that have oppressed us for generations. That's right. The Lord is coming to remove them and establish his kingdom on this planet here. That's why the kingdom of heaven, Yahweh Shai, is coming to establish it right on this planet here. The moment these devils are removed from power. And it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Second Ezra 15, 18. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Why will men be afraid? Because what? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. That's why your neighbor that you used to like sit out there and talk, you know, or have a drink and all you walk in and then you say, hello, how you doing, Bob? Everything good? No, that same neighbor right now. Let's find out what's going to happen. It says here, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses. Why would your neighbor all of a sudden decide to come in and break your house down, eat your food, crap on your bed and do a... Well, let's find out. It says here, they shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Because of what? Because of lack of bread. Every man is for himself. And for great tribulation. Because the Lord says what? Through much tribulation, we're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So that means what? We are going to go through it. The difference is that the Lord is going to make way for his elect. The Lord is not going to save everybody. Not everybody is going to be eating during that time. People are going to eat each other. That's the time that we are about to enter into. Hmm. 
we, we hit this already. AstraZeneca admit it C O V I D uh, J A B can lead to a uh, fatal side. You know, you know that already. If you've been watching this lesson enough, family, that's why my channel were always taken down because why I go deep into this wickedness. That's why right. always medical misinformation. You see, but now they are coming and they're telling you now. You see the wicked. You see, now they are coming out and telling you. That's why we got to get out of this place. This place is wicked. The Lord said, don't trust thine enemy. Yet the Lord made it clear. They list your enemies for you in Psalm 83. He said, like iron that rusted, so is his wickedness. They can never change. The Lord made them wicked. Can you imagine the Lord planted an apple tree and all of a sudden that apple tree is bringing oranges? That means the Lord is a liar. That means the Lord, Yahweh, is a liar. And we know that the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, he's not a man that should lie. So he told you who your enemy is and who your enemies are. Particularly, number one is Esau, Edom. And you're going to trust him? Are they going to put all these wicked celebrities in uh, from our own people? They're going to be telling you that, oh, take it. They will make rap music, rap song about you taking the job. Man, the Lord is going to destroy all these so-called celebrities. We can't wait. We cannot wait. We cannot wait, man. You know, they, they are in bed with Esau, Edom. Oh, yeah, the Lord, the, 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 listen, the Lord, eh, the Lord required with that which was passed. Eh, you, all these so-called celebrities that they used to bring, push wickedness upon Jake. That's right. The Lord got your number. Oh, yeah. The Lord got your number. You see, the Lord got your number. British MP stones Parliament. C O V I D J A B S have you know I delete 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 more people than the H O L O C A U S T. They are coming out and telling you who is in charge. Esau Edom is in charge because the law says the earth, this planet here, this kingdom was given to the hand of the wicked. So if the wicked is in rulership, this is what you expect to deceive the people. That's why destroy them and then turn around and say, did I do that? That's why. But nobody's going to take him down except the same person, the same entity, the power that gave him, the, uh, that put him in that position, the Lord Yahweh. But this time he's sending his son, Yahweh Shai, to come and take the sword from his hand. And that sword is going to be given to the 144,000. You read that book, that in the book of Psalm. That's why right. the sword is going to be given to the 144. Is it Psalm 140? I think it's Psalm 149. Let me see if I can get it quickly. It said, let the same be joyful in their bed. I think 149 or 147. Let's find out. I think it's 149. Psalm 149. Yeah. It says here. What It says what? It says, it says, let, it says, let's read this quickly. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. That's what we're singing right now. And his praise in the congregation of the saints, the elect. Eh? Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. That's how Yahweh shy. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. He said, for the Lord, Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people. He will what? Beautify the meek with salvation. Eh? The meek with salvation, the lonely. That's right. The downtrodden. The naked. That, that's right. All the names that they've given us. We preaching glorious gospel. They're calling you hate. How many bombs have we dropped in Gaza? Eh? How many, uh, you know, the, the, the job have we pushed on our community? Who is doing that? But they're calling us, the men of the Lord, they're calling us wicked. And they're calling us, yeah, we, you know, we're preaching hate. We're preaching hate. These men have gone around the world, destroyed nations. Eh? But the men of the Lord, standing in the street corner, eh, bringing this gospel, that's right. They are not, let that make sense. But we are not worried, though. We are not worried, man. We will take it. The Lord says, well, you are not of this world. Because why? Well, if you're of the world, the world will love you too. So we know what we are. We, we sign up for. We know what we sign up for. You see, we know what we sign up for. And we will bear the indignation of the Lord. 
because we he's about to plead our case for us and we are patiently waiting he said for the lord yahweh taketh pleasure in his people he will beautify the meek with salvation let the saints be joyful in glory let him sing aloud upon their beds let the, the high praises of our power be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand that's right the two-edged sword that is about to be removed from esau edom because Esau's blessing was what? The sword. The Lord is about to give us that sword. Why is the Lord going to give us the sword? Eh? That's right. Let's find out. Verse 7. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. That's what is coming. In the kingdom of heaven. On this planet earth. And punishment upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. All your elite. This is what is awaiting them. This is what is coming for the elite. The one that have destroyed society. This is what is coming for them. They are all going into captivity. Eh? You see, you are, to execute upon them, judgment written, this owner have all his sin. Praise ye the Lord. The judgment written is what? Slavery. Hardcore slavery. That's what is coming for all the elite of this society. Hmm? That's why right. It says here, official study, C-O-V-I-D spike protein, turn again, benign C-A-N-C-E-R cells into indestructible tumor. That's right. So clearly, you get it. Because why? You look at this man here. These are the people responsible for the atrocity that is going on in the world today. Right? These are the people. But nobody's talking about them because why? The power is in their hand. They're doing whatever their heart desire, like it says in the book of Micah. Let's get that to it quickly. Micah 2. It says here, woe to the oppressors. They are, these are the oppressors. Nobody's happy. Influenza, who was paid to promote the you know what, caused her heart. It says she said it caused her heart attack. A 29 year old influencer who was paid by Big Pharma to promote the you know what, shot on social media, has slammed the experimental you know what, eh? After cardiologists told her they caused her recent heart, you know, that's right. Because what? They love this world, they're all about this world. Mm -hmm. Woe to the oh, it says woe to them that device iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because what it is in the power of their hand. One day this guy was a micro uh, was what was a uh, was a, a computer geek. But now this guy is out there giving what uh what is it called health advice. Now he's all, all of a sudden a doctor pushing the you know what pushing the JAB. Why is that? Because it's in the power of his hand. He has all the money. He can pay everybody off. He can get celebrities to go out there and promote his product. You see how wicked this world is? You see how wicked this world is? Because it's in the power of their hands. But guess what though? The Bible said it best. It says better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it thereof. Eh? And the patience and spirit is better than the proud and spirit. That's these people here. The self-proclaimed white man. And the good news is what? Esau, self-proclaimed white man, is the end of the world. Family, I don't want this thing to be long. I will leave it there. And look at this. Autism rate surging in fully, you know what? Uh, jab, jab, Australia. 25% of children now officially, you know what? Disabled. Who is in charge of it? That's why you're looking at him. You're looking at him. Beloved. Let me, let, let's go here. Let's go to 2nd Ezra. Second Ezra with my sword. Let's go. Uh, this is I love it. I love this one here. This is what we are looking forward to. The moment the Lord comes and remove. Let's start from verse six, and remove these de demons. Second Ezra six, Second Ezra chapter six verse six said, "Then did I consider these things, and they were all made through me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other." Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Listen to what the Lord says. He said, For Esau. Eh? He says, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. You see, the heel of Esau, meaning what? There's nobody between the two. It's not going to be the brick system. It's not going to be Russia, China, uh, Iran, and South Africa coming to take over the next world once America falls. No. This is about two, two nations. The Edomite and the, the children, uh, sorry, Edom and Jacob. 
That's right. The Edomite and Israel. It's over for this people here. Except for Esau. Eh? For Esau, the self-proclaimed white man today, eh? is the end of the world. That's what we are looking forward to. And Jacob, the progenitor of the 12th tribe, the 12th nation. That's right. The children of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans, Native Americans. The speckled bird spread among all these nations. That's right. You are the beginning of it that followeth under our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. And that is what we are all looking forward to. People are tired. Everybody is tired of this man here. And the Lord said it best. If he tarries, there shall no flesh be saved. That's why the Lord have to remove him. So family, continue to stay prayed up. I will leave it there. All praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rukakuta Shalom.